did the right thing. I did what I had to do. He was your friend. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how his forests are fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. House Forester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. the next prisoner. This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer. A disgrace to her family no! name! Oh, oh, traitor! Take Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, End I sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. She's innocent! No! This is no justice, and you all know it! Raven! Coward! Kneel!
House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. Then she had the audacity to go behind my back with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And then that letter she forged to Elena Glenmore, as if I wouldn't find out. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was quite the bold one, Reek. Jabbing out that fourth-born's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. The saviour who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rather earnest, I suppose. But he had heart, fighting with a former slave by his side. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But I was disappointed. He seemed a man who cared of nothing more than the moment. But afterward, his uncle told me the truth that Asher had been protecting his friend, a former slave. He had gave up all he came here for to protect her secret. He earned my respect in the end, if not my help. Loyalty, friendship, respect. Without them, we have nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins, I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were passionate. I'll give them that. But they were ruled by their whims. Impetuous when they should have been shrewd. Noble and just to the end. But weak. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over, and they lost 